it's Yoshida here and today I'm with my mommy okay mute oh I mean, they know me. They, they don't know me. They don't know me. This might be the first time watching. You smart. I know. Hi, I'm her mom. My name is Ellery. Oh my god, I know we look like sisters. I'm just the younger I'm version. Only yeah. I'm only more hip. Just the kidding. More, more hip version. Who said you're more hip? Did she want to go? Catch me outside. How about that? Why are you always trying to fight? <laughs> like, let's focus. All right. Sorry about that, guys. As you all might know. Every year we get together and record a transforming Mazasa into me and cue the sad music. We're retiring. We're retiring or retiring the video? Shh. I mean, it makes sense though. Like, all right. I have straight A's. Okay. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I don't have street smarts. Anyways. At least you know that. I'm so glad you finally admitted it. So yeah, we're retiring this video because we have nothing else to do. We've... Sorry. <laughs> we are here today to honor the retirance of the transforming my <laughs> No, I can't laugh. I just didn't know retirance was a word. <laughs> we're retiring transforming my daughter into me. We've done it. Four times already we've done. Long wig, bob, scarf. Is that it? So this will be our fourth and final. The we, finale. Yeah, we decided to give you all a season finale because we actually weren't even gonna record this. Like this was very last minute. But I had got this. <laughs> well, I got her this wig, right? And I thought it was gonna look similar because some of you guys may know I got my hair cut. And so itchy. Yeah, I'm I, I'm ready to get this off you just as much as you are. So when we tried the wig on, it looked extremely tragic. So this is why we're starting the video off different than we normally do. Normally we make it a thing. She does a magic trick. We, you know, I look. I didn't even curl my hair. We just decided to have a little fun with this one since it's our last one. And so don't take it serious, like. Calm down, Karen. What I love about my daughter, what well, one of the things that I love about her is that she's able to laugh at herself. She doesn't take things serious. She knows how to joke around. She knows how to make fun of herself and be silly because she's also very confident. And that's a hard trait to have because some people don't like to come on camera and look crazy or look silly. She has no problem with that, which makes creating videos and content with her fun because she has a personality like her mom. Oh my gosh, my you're so blessed to be like me. <laughs> Got some gang for my mom. Hey. She don't know she love me. She don't love me like she said she hey. love me. Hey. 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 Anyways, yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Um, Like I said, this is just for fun. They're, well, they're always for fun, but I'm just saying we didn't take this one as serious. Like I didn't even curl my hair today. It's just from the weekend. And you'll see why. There was no need to curl my hair. But I'm gonna still make you look cute. Do you like my makeup? Yeah. It was very quick, so. I can tell. <gasps> Disrespect. <laughs> you can't see my knee, but. Why would we need to see your knee? You know, I still do the knee slap. I could do a slap. <laughs> All right, let's get. Ow, oh, sorry. <laughs> I did smash your finger. <laughs> let's get started. I'm gonna have to give this wig a name. You are walking like an old lady. We might have to call you Renette because you look like my mama with this wig on. <laughs> you look like your grandma, baby. <laughs> Is it look like my mom or look like my grandma? I don't know. Emo. That's what the wig is named. I don't know about emo, sis. Emo. Ooh, every time I start your eyebrows, I'm just like so jealous. You have my old eyebrows that I don't have anymore. What happened to your eyebrows? I already told you what happened to my eyebrows. I forgot, I told me again. I went to the nail salon with my sister. You got them waxed? To get them waxed. And Why would you do that? Well, I just asked them to clean them because I wasn't even supposed to get them waxed at all. My mom told Ooh, me. Oh, you're in trouble. My mom told me no, but I was like, you know, if they just clean them up, shh, nobody has to know. They don't look any different than mine. They're just a little thick. No, I have to pencil them in. They don't look like this without oh, makeup. Oh. But I mean, they're not bad. They grew back for the most part, but I could show you a picture where they look like this. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. And when I got them waxed, and the only reason why I got them waxed 
and disobeyed my mother, which I would not recommend. <laughs> and that's probably why they turned out so horrible. Is because I had just made the cheerleading team. And nobody was wearing eyebrows. I had to take cheer photos. Oh. And it was like my first time like having to take like professional. I remember seeing a picture of you. Photos. So I was like, she just doesn't understand. I'm just gonna get them clean. It's not like I'm getting them waxed or arched. I'm just, you know, I just wanted them to clean them. Like clean. You mean scrub? Or? No, like, like, like see your eyebrows now. I just wanted them to go completely on the outside and get rid of like the outside hair. It means like, don't give them a shape. Don't really take off any hair. Just clean the area around them. Cause if you clean the hair around the eyebrow, the eyebrow looks more defined basically. Anyways, so that was what I was doing. My sister was getting my nails, her nails done. And I even, I think your auntie gave me approval she was like yeah she was just like you're just getting them clean it's not a big deal she probably won't even notice when she finished and i saw them stripes now we better wrestle i cried so I like it wasn't even like even if i did want to get my eyebrows waxed and like shaped that would not have been what i wanted like she she cut me deep okay. so i had to take my cheerleading photos with like no eyebrows, pretty much. If I have a picture, I'll insert the picture and you'll see that I wasn't exaggerating. I kind of made sure eyebrows were a little so thinner. No! It wasn't on purpose, I just, I don't feel like fixing it. You've been doing makeup for years! Actually, I haven't. I've been doing my makeup for years. It still doesn't look bad. You used to work at MAC. I hate this. <laughs> no. Girl, I'm getting old. My hands ain't as steady this? as they- What is this? Why yeah. can't they as steady as they used to be? Look like a doll. When I was doing it, I was like, <laughs> oh God. don't worry, girl, you're gonna be cute, hopefully. Did you say you, uh, no. You said that it was because of like, something you, you put in your hair, right? What? That it got like damaged or whatever. Yeah, you're very lucky because when I was growing up, I had no hair knowledge. Like my mom didn't have any hair knowledge, meaning like she didn't know how to do my hair. Like your hair, back in the day, it would be like, girl, that's too much hair, throw perm in it. <laughs> yeah, it was like nobody knew how to really maintain natural hair. But nowadays- Perm is your hair? Hmm? Perm is your hair? Yeah, I got a perm early, very early. And having it so many years and getting braids and all that stuff, my hair just but got just damaged so bad and then the whole wig incident happened. So, but what I'm saying is, if my mom knew what to do with my hair when I was younger, I would've never got a perm. So you're never gonna get a perm because now I have hair knowledge. I know how to maintain your hair. What happens when you get too old? Too old to what? Do my hair. What, what happens when you move when I graduate high school? Well, you're gonna learn how to do your hair eventually. I don't wanna. I have no choice. I'm not gonna be doing your hair in high school. What do I look like? <laughs> Anyways, I don't like your eyebrows, but we're gonna move on because <laughs> I'm hungry and I know you are too. You're still gonna be cute though. Anyways, um, a lot of the reason why black women have hair problems is because when they were younger, they had no idea what to do with their hair. So you're lucky because now that there's things like YouTube videos, tutorials, I don't have to get frustrated. I can just go and learn. People have learned from your videos too, even though I'm still a work in progress on doing your hair because you have the thickest, most moisture absorbing hair. It's like your hair just be like, go, 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 go. go. Ah, more please. I'm like, girl, I just gave you some. Are you ever gonna wear a wig again? Girl, I'm Wiggyana to the death of me, baby. I love transforming, you know, you just because you have natural hair or even if you do or don't have hair damage, like wigs are just a way for you to create whatever style you wanna create. So it's just a way for you to transition. Maybe one day I wanna be short. Maybe one day I wanna have a bang. Maybe one day I want it to go to my booty. Maybe one day I wanna wet and wavy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I may have put way too much foundation on you. Bro! Stop treating me like a coloring book! I haven't done makeup in so long, bro. I don't even be knowing what I be doing no more. You are looking real pasty. <laughs> I think it's too late for you. You still gonna be cute though. Trust the process. You look like a light bulb right I now. I look like Donald Trump. You are. <laughs> <laughs> you are giving me Trumpy on <laughs> Well, don't worry. It's fixable. I can bring you back. Don't you trust me? No. That's rude. 
Okay, so when you found out you were pregnant, who did you tell first? Jeez. What? So serious. Well, the first question was who was the picky eater as a child. You picking these questions? Child. I didn't know you were gonna ask me questions. Who you who did you Who tell? did I first tell? Yeah. Um it's a good question. I would assume it was your mom, but it was not my Wait, mom. what? <laughs> I think I was I think it might have been Taj. Huh? I thought you were gonna say TT. She wasn't a fan of your father, so. Wait, what? <laughs> so Why? I'm not gonna tell her first. And Tati wasn't either, but she wasn't judgmental, so. Why? Grown up reasons. Tell me! Actually, no. I think I didn't tell anybody. Huh? I think I took a test, then I told your dad, and then I think after I told your dad. That doesn't count. I told TT and Tati at the same time. That's what happened. Mm. On FaceTime? No, I met them for lunch at Raw Sushi. Oh, y'all should have a reunion there. Why? Because it would be cute. And you can bring me. Girl, you just want some sushi. <laughs> Wait, how far is that? Was that when you were in California? It's in Bucket. Okay. Uh, did you cry when you found out? Absolutely. Mm. I cried even harder when I found out you were a girl. Happy? <laughs> no! What? I wanted a boy. You're so mean. And I was mean and I felt very ungrateful for crying, so I asked God to forgive me. Then uh, you should be asking me to forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> you my best friend. Yeah, now. Girl, I don't even know what I would do with a boy. I, God knew what he was doing, cause <laughs> child, child, you get on my nerve, but I'd rather you get on my nerve. Imagine the YouTube videos, they'd be so much different. Girl, I might not even have done it. You, you might, you might, he might. You wanted to be on YouTube. I, did? I didn't. I didn't just put you on YouTube like that. You asked to be on YouTube. Oh wow! When you were f f three, actually, and I didn't put you on till you were four. I didn't know that. You were just like Callie. Loved attention. Loved to be on camera. She's a different type because she's a TikTok kid. You weren't <laughs> born with TikTok error. You still watched Elmo and stuff, but Elmo's world. You asked to be on there. And I'm so glad I was born when I was born. Cause I would not want to be born like now, but 2011, that was nice. That was nice. Girl, <laughs> what are you even talking about? That was nice. Look up. Cause this gen this generation. Girl, you are this generation. <laughs> I mean like the generation after my generation, like Callie's generation, they something else. What are you talking about? <laughs> Callie is just something else. Uh, you're 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 categorizing how she is with a whole generation. Anyways, well, I'm not gonna ask this one because I think Dad uh, suggested the baby name, right? You wanted my name to be Dayana or something. Girl, I, <laughs> I wanted your name to be Brielle. I hate it. That sounds like a white name. You can't say that, <laughs> <laughs> but I did. <laughs> I wanted your name to be Brielle because I thought it combined his L. name and my name. That's that sounds like more of a ship name than a child's name. That a ship? A sh have you never heard of a ship name like L Lucas and Max Lumax? Yeah, it was like uh, yeah, but Brielle is pretty. It's not Lumax, isn't? Anyways, then he wanted Milan, and no. I said no. So um, I'm just trying to picture how this conversation went. Well, he called you Milan for at least a month. They're both terrible. I was just like, one day he's just gonna realize that that's not gonna happen. It's my child, my rules. So I was willing to compromise. So when he suggested Zara, I liked it, and that's how you got named Zara. Um, what color was my nursery? It's not a question, but I'm rephrasing it. It was pink. I was of course typical. it was. You're so girl. I was so broke. Hero That's what something. it was. So you're broke. Then you didn't know. <laughs> you act like you didn't know me when I was broke, girl. We were struggling together. Well, I was like two. Yeah, from like zero to three. Uh, bro, the last broke. thing I remember that was close to broke was when we were living in that small house with Annie and Brooks. I wasn't completely broke then. That's when I was like coming up. Yes, yeah, so I don't remember. That's when you had just started doing videos and I'm the money maker girl <laughs> we had just started getting money basically because we only lived there for a year and then I was like moving on up to Buckhead I wouldn't even move to Buckhead today if I was a bajillionaire because it's ghetto now wait why is it ghetto I mean pretty much a lot of places in the world are ghetto now people are just going crazy I like where we are for now for now this isn't our forever home. Maybe not for you. Would you want to move to a different good. state? No. What about after? No. <laughs> no. What about after no. high school? No, I'm staying 
here. Well, after high school, that kind of is when you decide what you want to do for a living. Stay here. <laughs> you ain't living with me for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Well, what if Miami, I... Miami, here I come. You said it's Miami? Not, it's, a, it's, a, it's something I saw on TikTok. Uh, I don't know. It depends on how my life is going. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I'm still friends with all my childhood friends, I'm not moving. Girl, I moved away from all my childhood friends. You, that's you. You wouldn't even that's be born. You. That's you. You wouldn't even be born if I stayed um, there. Uh, Yeah, that's you. I and look, my life knew. changed for the better. Oh, how good for you. <laughs> you look happy and healthy. Not me. <laughs> Bro, what is wrong with you? I can't see your face. Uh, Anyways, you probably will change your mind when you get older. Um, It'll probably depend on what I'm you want to do. One. Like, what if you become uh, like a musician? I knew you. No, wait, what? Like, what if, what if I finally get you in the studio, and it takes off, and you have to travel the country? Mm, then I'll be still living here and I'll just travel. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, child. Girl, once you get a taste of that world, you ain't gonna wanna be here, sis. Cause I think when you graduate from high school, I'm not even opposed to moving to Mexico. Wait, what does that mean? That means I would move to Mexico. Oh. Uh, well, that's hot there. I mean, it has a beach, so it's easy to cool down. I love Mexico. Mexico. Or the Bahamas. Is the food good? I heard the food's good. Yes, anywhere by the ocean that's gonna have good food. Can you take me? Daughter weekend trip to my Not a weekend. <laughs> That's short. Yeah, every time I take you on vacation, you get on my nerves though. I'm I've 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 changed. Girl, you got on my nerves today, so that's cause I was in a bad mood. But... Well then you must be in a bad mood every day because you get on my nerves every day. I wake up and have to choose uh, violence because uh, you just You're moody. I'm not moody. Stop doing the same stuff every day and I don't have to be moody. Um, I have a question for you. Uh, what was your, uh, what were you like in high school? Um, I was pretty low key even though I was popular. Like I never really, I always do my own thing, you know what I'm saying? And when you are just being yourself, you attract a lot of people, I guess. I don't know. Cause I didn't really do anything to make me popular. I was a cheerleader, I guess. Some cheerleaders are popular, but I just had a lot of friends that I came to high school with and we all were pretty kind of TT? popular. TT did not go to high school with me. She's five years older than me. Oh. Tati did. I know it. All my other, and Sabrina did. All my other- When did Sabrina move, when did Bri move to California? She was born there. Then why would, oh, you were born in California. I was born in Denver. Wait, what? Wait, so where did you go to high school? I'm confused. Zara, just because I wasn't born there doesn't mean I didn't grow up there. Uh -huh. Come on now, your, your common sense is, is fading. Anyway, what attracts you to people? Like guys or girls or people in general? Guys. Ooh. Ew. What attracts me to guys is... Um... If they single, <laughs> put me on the list. Add me to the Rasta. <laughs> what is wrong with you, bro? Um, confidence, but not a confidence where you're arrogant and like you want me to talk to you, but like just likes to have fun and talk to people, conversational, makes me laugh, likes to have a good time. Um, can I, can I guess where cute. you- Cute. <laughs> yeah, that don't hurt. Well done. Like, <laughs> that don't hurt. I mean, I've dated not so cute people. Who were? I mean, they weren't school? ugly, but they weren't like, dang, shouty. Well, y'all name you. What does that mean? <laughs> But yeah, that's how I am. So I want to attract that same energy. Like you can't be too good to do nothing or like wanting me to do everything. Cause that's how it is in Atlanta. They just, the ratio from men to women is so far apart that guys are just like, just like that guy you was talking to last year. It was Remember? not last year. The guy you was talking to that you was doing all the work, you was doing all the texting, he wasn't texting you back or saying nothing and all that. He wasn't reaching out to you first. It was like you was doing all the work. That's that's not it, cause- I'm not the one. I'm not the one, one or the two. <laughs> I'm one of one. I'm, I'm number, number one. one. I'm, I'm the, the only, only one. one. Okay, so if you ain't got nothing to say, then why are we talking? Because I, last time I checked, you're supposed to be pursuing me or we're supposed to be pursuing each other. It can't be one-sided. No, it's not gonna work, honey. So that's pretty much why I'm single, cause. <laughs> Are you though? Girl, I am. So I don't know what you heard or what you saw, but until you officially ask me to be your girl, you could pretend all you want, baby, but 
I didn't hear you ask. Do we have an anniversary? Did you ask me? Like, if you did not, then yes, I am so... I didn't know friends kiss. Well, anyways. Anyways. <laughs> uh, who is the last person, never mind, I know it's me, who made you cry and why? He just answered it. it was who you. besides me? Besides you? Why would anybody make me cry? That's so rude. You're the only person that has the ability to make me cry. How does that make you feel? Mm, I've heard otherwise. Who else has made me cry? Dad. Well, about you. Not over him. Let's be clear. <laughs> Let's be very clear. And that's too deep for this conversation. But the only reason why he can make me cry is if he ain't doing right by you. Because that's the only thing I care about, baby. So you are the only person, like I said, that can make me cry. Anybody else can get a bye-bye. Oh, period. What has your hardest goodbye in life ever been? Maybe moving from California. That's the only thing I can think of because I had to move away from all my family and at the time my mom and my friends. It was just When me. did you move? I moved oh, in 2004. And I only moved because I did not want to live with my mama. She was on my nerves, bruh. Having me clean every two seconds and I just had to get up out of there. And luckily, your TT was willing to go with me. Per. How old were you? I don't remember. I just knew I, it was right after I graduated from college. If you could have one celebrity as your BFF or lover, who would it be? The same person? It, you can choose one. So for, I, I one, can choose a BFF or a, I can choose... Yeah. Um, I don't like talking to you about lovers though. It's a little TMI. So BFF, I would I probably think. choose, I, I, I originally would say Rihanna because she, well, I still would. It just seems like she's way more mature than me now. <laughs> Even though she's younger than me, you know, she just seems like she might be a little more, since she's a mother now, more inside now. So I could be wrong, but either Rihanna or Young Miami. Uh -huh, I was going to say Beyonce. Well, Beyonce is not ratchet. I need, I need to, I need to do ratchet things from time to time. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm classy, bougie. Ratchet, you know, and I think me and young Miami just might be more relatable as far as where I am in my life when I'm doing um, Ratchet things so I would love to hang out with Beyonce, you know over brunch at Tiffany's or something but um if you if you could choose to get one more tattoo like this is the last tattoo you're ever gonna get again What would it be? You already know that. No, I don't you already know I want, I still want a tattoo of you somewhere. Wait, I thought you already had that. <laughs> so yeah. nobody has a tattoo of me. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Oh my God. Well, I have good reason because all my tattoos are terrible. I hate them all. So I want to make sure. You hate me? I hate all my tattoos. So I want to make sure when I do get a tattoo of you, since it's going to be very meaningful, that I go to somebody that does very well, good work, and that I think long and hard about it. Because everywhere else, I kind of just it's was like- It's been 11 years, mom. And I have been a single mom trying to provide for you, and look what you're doing. You just want me to go get your tattoos, and I couldn't, like, what is going on? I've had more important things to do than go get tattoos, okay? Jeez, what more do you want from me? Get it tattooed across your face. Oh, wow. Your butt. Oh wow, I really cannot see what I'm doing. All I know is that you have one hell of makeup. <laughs> wow. Who was your very first crush? Like celebrity wise? No. Um, I guess my first boyfriend. Who was your first boyfriend? Um, his name was Chris. Not Chris. Why do you say not Chris? Oh wait, I was thinking. Don't say nobody else's name, please. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he was much older than me. I lied about my age. Don't ever do that. Ah! She catfish. I was I crushing him because he had really pretty eyes. Blue? No, they were like hazel or something. Did you say you were older or younger? I said I was older. How old were you? I think I was only like 14. How old was she? Like 17. You're legal. <laughs> po, po, who this? Yeah, it was a... A learning experience. Did he find out? I told him the truth. How did he react? We still did it. <laughs> Wait, what? I guess yeah, bro. He, I guess he was a little creep. <laughs> you nasty. Did you break up with him? Ow. Mm, My eyeball. I just stopped talking. What was the last lie you told? I don't lie. That's cat. He I just don't. lied. 
<laughs> oh, well, I don't lie enough to know like the last lie I told. Um, you lied because you said you were gonna rebraid my hair oh my this God. weekend. I did and not say yes, that. Yes, you did. I said I would try it. If I know I'm not 100% sure, I'm never gonna promise you nothing. So if I say I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. If it don't work, it don't work. That doesn't mean I'm lying. You act like I don't have a lot of stuff going on. I don't understand why you- I wanted a braid before I had drama club. Okay, you have drama club for the whole rest of the year. They'll see your braids. So what happened to your eye? You! Let me see. That's cause I can't see that side of your face. Mm. You keep looking forward. Mm. Ooh, this side is looking right great. Remember this is just for fun. <laughs> It's not for real. <laughs> I bet you everybody who's in my DMs right now asking me to do their makeup is like, delete. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna have to reconsider. <laughs> well, I wasn't doing it. I don't do makeup, so. I don't even check my DMs, so. I'm just saying, I, I used to get it all the time. I'll glance at them every once in a while. Why somebody slide into your DMs? Ain't nobody in there. I go in there every once in a while just in case there's something important. But ever since she was five years old, she was five years old, I was on my phone, I was responding to comments, and she made a comment like, you're always on your phone, you never spend time with me. And at the time, she's like, if she said it today, I'd be like, girl, you ain't even thinking about me half the, di half the day. I, I specifically make time for you today because of that. Like that moment, like really made me feel guilty. We always have, that's when we watch our TV shows, we watch movies. That's true. And we don't, can't use our phone. And you said it in such a cute little voice. And I was like, I'm never doing this again. So I don't really go in my DMs that often. I comment usually right after a video is posted or if I have time you're at school. But when you're home, I try to do as less work as possible in order to like be present. Girl, it ain't cute no more. It ain't cute no more. Now I gotta say that to you. You're always on your phone. You never spend time with me. It's reversed now. The difference is you don't even care. Oh, anyways. Do you have regrets? If so, what are they? Nope. None. I mean, I would like to say I regret certain people and things I've done, but then if it would change anything about today and like you or like my life in a negative way now, then I don't want to say I would have any regrets because even like things I've done in my past that I'm not proud about, I learned from them. People that I dated that were, you know, ugh, I learned. Well, I learned after a few of them, but so I can't say I regret anything. If you got to live wherever you wanted in the world, where would it be? I haven't traveled enough to know that. Cause right now I would say something like Mexico, Mexico or Bahamas or Jamaica, but I haven't been to stony places. I've never been to Dubai. Paris. I've never been, I've, I've, I don't think I would live in Paris, but maybe somewhere in Europe or, I would, you know, in my ideal world, I would live somewhere different like every year. I'll be rich and I would just bounce around going to different places and buying different properties all over the world. And I wouldn't have like one home. Okay. Home is where the heart is, you know? This one's a little juicy. Have you picked out names for future children? Well, I, who am I gonna have kids with, Sarah, at this point? Like, mm, do you want me to talk? <laughs> like, do you wanna go? I don't have any plans on having any more children because I don't have anybody to currently have children with. Um, so I, I have not gotten as far as a name. No, the answer is no. I don't know what I would do. I'm not opposed to it, but clock is ticking. What foreign language would you like to speak? Mm, I don't know if I want to, well, I think it's always good to speak foreign language. I've always wanted to speak French. I took French class in school. Wee oui, wee. Oui. But I think Bonjour. I would more than speak a different language. I've always wanted to have like an English accent. Cause I think whatever they say, even if it's like bad, sounds good. I like, a Russian accent. Oh, you want to talk in <laughs> Russian? Uh, Do you I'm also want Russian. to be a Russian spy? Maybe a Russian spy is what I was destined to be on. I'm not <laughs> sure if it's Russian and like it's supposed to Russian. Anyway. We're just gonna pretend like that's blended. What time is it? Oh, it's late, girl. Well, we about to have to rush drop the rest of this. What was your first sure. concert? Oh my God, I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh. You know, people talk about Genuine, but he is 
a legend. He was actually my first celebrity crush and he was my crush for like a bajillion years. Like I had his pictures all over my walls. I used to pretend we were together. <laughs> you sound like a fan girl. I was more than a fan. I recorded all his shows on a VHS tape and I used to watch it every Friday. Even if I had my cousins over, they would have to sit there and watch his tape with me. And I remember one year for Christmas when my mom wanted to celebrate Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa? Meaning she didn't want to buy us no gifts. That was a religious thing. She didn't want to buy no gifts. So, well, she, it's not that she didn't want to. She was having a struggle year, I guess. And um, she gave us like these gift baskets that had like all of our favorite stuff in it. Ooh. Like small stuff. Um, and then hmm. the big thing in my basket was concert tickets to his. That's big. It that was the highlight of my life. Uh -huh. And that was also the first celebrity, that, actually the only celebrity. Well, I, was that the first time or? The first time what? The I'm sure. first time you like were going to see him or had you already yes. been a fan? It was the first time I've seen him in concert. He was the only celebrity, cause I don't really get starstruck even to this day. Like I'm not like a, oh my God, there goes a celebrity type of person. But I loved him so much. And when he was about to come on stage, cause it was a ladies night out tour, I mean like, it was like all R&B male singers and he was the headliner. And you know, when like people are playing music like they're about to come out, but they don't come. The anticipation just took over me and I just started crying. Crying? <laughs> I was excited and he was teasing. And I remember he came out in this long white fur coat. Woo! Uh, did he die? He's still alive and he's still doing shows. Well, you said legend. Usually legends are. Because uh, he's older now, so people like are making fun of the, like his dances and like as if he- He still dances? I mean, he tries to break out a move every now and then, but he used to be known for dancing, like how Chris Brown is. But, um, you know, he's older now. How old is he? Probably in his 50s. But he can tour for the rest of his life because he got hits, baby. Anyways, yeah. What that was, you, that you was say my his first concert. Was? His name is Jenny Wine, AKA Elgin Baylor. Pumpkin in the third. What the heck does that mean? That's his real name. Oh. Him and Alan Iverson, anything that they like, I liked. So I used to get, I got- Is that a, another celebrity, Alan? He's, how do you not know Alan Iverson? Uh, Alan Iverson is also a legend in basketball. And I was almost just as big a fan as him as I was genuine. It was more when I got a little older and took down my genuine posters and put up Alan Iverson. <laughs> Oof, I was old and with the new. Who's your favorite celebrity? You never tell me. Besides um, Zendaya. Calm down, Karen. Um, Caleb McLaughlin. Oh, Stranger Things, surprise, surprise. <laughs> and Sadie Sink. Caleb is a new one because I've been watching videos, don't judge me, of, of Stranger Things, and uh, I'm just now realizing how much he, how good of an actor he is. I'm not gonna comment on that because I'm trying to be nice to you. <laughs> Girl, I know it looks bad. I'm struggling, I'm hot, I'm tired. My hands are shaking, I can barely see. Like, don't judge your mother, I don't judge you. And Sadie saying, cause- Who's that? She's Max. She starred in a lot of stuff. Fear Street, Stranger Things, Dear Zoe, with some little broadcast musicals. So yeah, she's a really good actor. You mean Broadway? Broadway means whatever. Even yeah, and Zendaya. Those are my top three favorite actors. Zendaya is a goddess. Purr. I don't even know if I want to do lashes because this whole thing is just giving me tragic pageant. It's like, <laughs> I don't even know where I went wrong. <laughs> I think I went wrong with the foundation. Then I had to do your makeup from the side the whole time. And then I just started just not caring. So do you want me to just do some mascara or do you want lashes? I don't care. Let's just do mascara because it's not like I'm doing a wing line or anything. Oh, shh. What did you do? Oh my God. I cannot you. be trusted. I told you my hands ain't sturdy. I've lost my touch. Man, as young as I used to be. <laughs> Back when I was younger, I was the makeup guru of my time. I'm trying to think of the last person I did makeup for and I cannot even think. Me? It probably was you and that was like a year ago. I'm nervous about doing a Halloween tutorial because if I can't even do this, and I hate that I, I'm not going out, out with a bang. Like this is supposed to be our last video <laughs> and I'm getting makeup everywhere. I'm over makeuping you. Just got makeup on my wrist I for did. proof. You didn't have to show. <laughs> it's like, I'm going out sad. Going out with the, not a bang, but more of a, a boo. boo. A boo. <laughs> boo, get her off the channel. <laughs>
Are you freckles? What is this? My moles. Oh. I barely can make a circle. This is just tragic. Yeah, put some here now. Girl, I'm not giving you neck <laughs> moles. At least the lip gloss will look good. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a gloss bomb. She just did a lip tutorial. <laughs> is this cute eyebrows? No. Why? You, you cannot have any of my gloss bombs. What? You you just said it had you just said any. That means you have, have more than one. No, I have different colors and you can't have any of them. I bet you don't use I will use like two. I use all of them until they're empty actually. You can't share? Share is caring. I sure can. I mean it's not terrible, terrible. It's just like bad, you know? Alright, so this is when it gets real uh interesting. It's been interesting. <laughs> Listen, you gonna stop shading me on this makeup. I already know it don't look up to par like it has in previous videos, okay? I'm, I'm aware of that. Could have been better, but this is where we at. We working with what we got, okay? Now, what can't get any better is this wig that's on your head, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I tried to make it fair. I didn't curl my hair at all. This is just scarf head, and um, let's, uh, let's get your scarf off, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Are you ready for the big reveal? Sure. Loretta Divine. <laughs> what is Loretta Divine? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh, who's that? <laughs> Does she look like me? <laughs> Let me swoop my hair a little more. Don't worry, girl. I'm coming for you. I look emo. <laughs> Hold on, look, look, look. I'm getting more like you. Hold on. I just got to swim. I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> bro, stop with the jokes, bro. The joke is this hair. <laughs> but I'm about to come. I'm about to look just like you. Hold on. Why would you want to look like me? Because I don't want you to leave you hanging. Now look, don't this look more like what you got on your head? Look, look, look. <laughs> I did not come here to be this. Oh my god! It's like Donald Trump in reverse. Like instead of it being blonde, it's black. Oh gosh! But we're still twins. We still did the job. I know. I think we actually went out strong. <laughs> come on, let's strike some poses. Oh my god! You can't say we don't look alike though. <laughs> I didn't even know you were doing that. <laughs> but okay, all jokes aside. All jokes aside, for real. Do you think, like, you look like me? Hey y'all, it's Ellery here. I do not talk like that, first of all. Hey y'all, it's Ellery here. Yeah, put some little eye uh, on it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ty, I have been telling you the same thing over and over again. I'm sick of it. Wait a minute, <laughs> what are you doing? Let's regroup here. Was that supposed to be an impression of me? Yeah. Did I do it? I mean, that happens very rarely. <laughs> I'm mostly like, Zara, please clean your room. <laughs> I wish. That's the first time I say it. Zara, didn't I tell you to clean your room? No, it's more, well, no. It's I'm more. not done, cause then I have to do it a third time. Zara, have you not cleaned your room yet? Like, this is my third time telling you, then a fourth time. This is not clean. Get your lazy up and clean. <laughs> Zara, don't do that, cause I don't do all that. Then the fifth time. It's not clean. You still have stuff all over your floor. Like, what are you seeing that I'm not seeing? Because I still see, see. I, have to, I don't start yelling to the fifth time. You Anybody could. will go insane if they have to tell somebody to do something five times. You do it best, boss. I know I do it best. Don't don't have me do it. That's the point. Do what you're supposed to do. The recipe is easy. Do what you have to do. And then I ain't got to do nothing. But love on you. Baby, that's all I got to do is love on you. If you do what you're supposed to do. I hate cleaning her. I realize I'll get in trouble so much, so much much less if my room just could stay clean all the time without me having to do any physical well, work. Well, when it's clean, keep it clean. We're getting off topic. This is off camera conversation, but just because it's our last time doing this video doesn't mean that we're not doing any more videos together. We still have a Halloween video hopefully coming up. It'll probably probably be on my channel since this one was on hers. And I don't know if she's doing a Halloween for a uh, video for her channel this year. I'll think about it. I hope you guys enjoyed our last one. Um, I didn't. <laughs> you're so negative, bro. Anyways, this is your video, so you're supposed to be kind of outroing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. That's all for now. Love ya.
So you know what we're about to say. Yoshiro, 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 gone. Me. Yoshiro, 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 gone. Me. Love ya. Mwah. Who was that? <laughs> that was hardcore emo rock out. Yo, you're not song emo. Remix. Yes, I am. So are you trying to say I'm emo right now? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. All right, let's go eat chat. All right, let's go eat chat. <laughs>